The importance of a stadium to a club's identity and its relationship with the local community has grown in resonance over the past few years. West Ham fans complain that the London Stadium doesn't provide the same atmosphere as the Berlin. Meanwhile, Tottenham supporters have grown frustrated at the delays in construction to their new ground. However, those experiences pale in comparison to Grasshopper Club Zurich. The most successful side in Swiss history, with 27 league titles, Grasshoppers are still waiting for construction to start on their new stadium after their former home, the Hard Turn, was demolished in 2008. On the 25th of November 2018, the people of Zurich finally voted to approve the construction of a new stadium on the Hard Turn site. Switzerland uses a system of direct democracy, involving frequent referenda. This was the third referendum on the Hard Turn in the past 15 years. In a country renowned for its neutrality, the topic has polarised the citizens of Zurich, with the delay being a result of both local politics and international events, leaving the home city of FIFA without a purpose-built football stadium. The Hard Term was a venue with an illustrious history. While the 1954 World Cup is remembered for the miracle of Bern, it was in Zurich where eventual winners West Germany secured their place in the knockout stages, with a 7-2 win over Turkey. The Swiss national team also has fond memories, as it was where they secured qualification for the 1994 World Cup, with a 4-0 win over Estonia, making it their first appearance at the finals for 28 years. In the early 2000s, plans were unveiled to modernise the hard term to a 30,000-seater as a venue for the 2008 UEFA European Championships. The project, financed by Credit Suisse, was approved in a referendum on the 7th of September 2003, with 63.3% of the vote. However, it was soon caught in legal limbo. The proposal included plans for a shopping centre, and the VCS, the Swiss Transport Club, claimed that the resulting traffic would violate environmental law. Meanwhile, local residents filed objections concerning groundwater and the potential shadow cast by the stadium's Pentagon design. With these legal challenges delaying construction, Zurich faced losing its right to be a host city. In response, they accelerated plans to upgrade the Letzigrün, home of Grasshopper's local rivals FC Zurich. As well as meeting UEFA regulations, the renovation aimed to improve it as a venue for the Weltklasse Zurich, an annual athletics tournament. During construction, FC Zurich moved into the hard term for its final season, winning the league there, much to the displeasure of Grasshopper supporters. On the 1st of September 2007, Grasshoppers played the final match at the hard term, a 2-1 defeat. Both Zurich clubs then moved to the Letzigrün, where they would play until construction on the new hard term was completed. As you can imagine, neither club was particularly happy with this arrangement. Similarly to the London Stadium, the Letzigrün was criticised for its running track and lack of atmosphere. Attendances dipped as both clubs started to pay more in rent than they were making in matchday revenue. And in June 2009, Credit Suisse pulled out of the project to redevelop the hard term, citing delays and the global financial crisis. The land was sold back to the city, which proposed a plan to rebuild the stadium using public money. Its plans included a number of social housing units. However, due to spiralling costs to the taxpayer, estimated at 216 million francs, it was rejected in a referendum on the 22nd of September 2013 by just 50.8% of the vote. The city then ran a competition for investors to put forward their proposals for the ground, and in July 2016, it was announced that Project Ensemble, led by HRS Investment AG, was the winning bid. Its proposal consists of a 18,000-seater stadium, 174 social housing units, and two towers for commercial and residential use. These will stand at 137 metres, which is higher than the current tallest building in Zurich, Prime Tower. The proceeds from these will help finance the stadium, which, once completed, will host both Zurich clubs, leaving the Letzigrund for athletics and concerts. This was met with resistance from locals who, in the intervening decade, have reclaimed the ground upon which the hard term stood. An association called Stadion Branch Hard Term was tasked with overseeing the temporary use of the land for non-commercial use. What was a wasteland transformed into a flourishing public garden, including skate parks and food stalls. Both the Green and Social Democratic parties campaigned for a no vote in the November 2018 referendum, arguing that one of the last green spaces in the city should be protected. While football clubs are seen as inextricably linked to their communities, the demolition of the hard term removed that pretense. For many locals, the land now serves a far more communal value than it would as a football stadium. However, on the 25th of November 2018, grasshoppers celebrated, as 53.8% voted in their favour. The result came through just before their match against FC St Gallen at the Letzigrund, which they then won 2-1. Grasshoppers have been here before, though. 
After the vote, FC's Zurich president, Ancilla Canepa, expressed his hope that it wouldn't be dogged by delays. Of particular concern are the two towers, with the 10th district of Hong being the only one to vote against the project, out of opposition to their height. As a result, there are doubts whether grasshoppers will meet their target of 2022. Given the cost of playing at the Letzgrund, failure to do so will see the club's very future at stake. Prior to the November 2018 vote, Grasshopper's president, Stefan Enlicke, suggested that if it didn't go their way, they might have to withdraw from the league. While Grasshoppers would see a successful return as an overdue homecoming, considering how the land has been used in their absence, they may find their neighbours far less welcoming than they used to be. <laughs>